Well, we've got a complaint with this 2015 Ford Fusion with a two liter EcoBoost that the customer says the check engine light comes on and off. It's on right now. We pulled the codes and we have a P0443. Now, this particular code says purge valve circuit fault. I want you to remember that before we go farther. Now, first thing we we'll are always do with anything is we're gonna look at codes and then data parameters, or in this case for mode six topic today, we'll look at mode six. So let's take a look at mode six, keeping in mind what the code is. It is an EVAP code. So we should see some really good juicy information in mode six to share with you. So let's go ahead and go into mode six, get back out to our powertrain uh, full menu here. There we go. Extended onboard monitoring test results were an enhanced powertrain. Now we could also see mode six in generic powertrain, but we'll usually see the defined parameters, not always, but we'll usually, if we're gonna find them, we'll find them in enhanced. So we're in mode six and enhanced powertrain. Go and see what the categories are. They're gonna be a little different than what you've seen with pre-CAN bus vehicles. And here we go. Uh, the first column I'm going to highlight here, monitor ID. That is a new name for the pre-CAN bus generation of vehicles that was called TID, test ID. A monitor, a test, they're the same thing. Now, the next column is called test ID, which gets confusing because that was the first column. Now it's the second column, but it means the same thing that the pre-CAN bus vehicles second column also meant, and that would be the specific area of a test or monitor ID. So if I click on this to get the definition coming up here, down here in the blue, this particular monitor ID, the general area that we're checking here is an O2 sensor monitor on bank one, sensor one. Now the next column, the specific aspect or component of that particular test is dollar sign 88, and that is defined undocumented. It means we have to go to Ford documentation, which we'll do later to show you what that really means. So as I see yellow, and it says the word pass, up here is our little key, passed with flying colors is green, barely passed, borderline yellow, and failed is red. Now the failed on a pretty much any scan tool, whether it's monochrome, or it's got colors like the Ford IDS or the Delphi tool, whatever, you will have the fails show up first. And if they're not monochrome like that, if they're in color, they'll be in red. We have no reds, they'd be on top. Everything is saying pass, pass, pass. Variable valve timing, variable valve timing. There's an EVAP, we have an EVAP code, have a purge code, but it says it passed, just barely, but it passed. This minimum column and the value, what we actually ran when the monitor ran. Remember, mode six is not dynamic live data. It's data that was recorded, like a snapshot on your scanner, or a freeze frame when you have a code. It's the data captured when the monitor ran. Whether it passed, barely passed, or failed, it's the data captured when the monitor was ran. And we're all seeing all these barely passes. That was dead right to at at the very edge between 8192, the minimum, and 1992, the maximum, this just barely had enough negative Pascal's pressure to pass. But it's turning the light on. How can it turn the light on and pass? As we scroll on down, we see all the misfire monitors and so forth. You notice they're not dollar sign for misfires. They're not dollar sign 53, like in pre-CAN bus Fords. It's dollar sign 80, 81, and so forth. So as we see the dollar sign 81 cylinder specific misfires, that was so handy to have with pre-CAN bus misfire detection and diagnostics but we're not seeing anything fail. Now we're down in the greens and we see everything looking good, including here's another uh, mid monitor ID and it's aspect undocumented, dollar sign 80 for the EVAP uh, monitor for a 90 thousandths leak. Man, if that purge is not working correctly when you hook up your smoke machine, remember when you're working on EVAP, Smoke machines just find leaks if you have a performance issue, plugged vent. If you have a leaky uh, EVAP purge solenoid, just letting vacuum on through when it's supposed to be shut it off, that's going to be a performance issue that the smoke machine may not necessarily catch or catch easily, especially the plugged up vent and so forth. And it certainly won't catch, you remember the code I asked you to take note of? 
the 443 EVAP solenoid circuit. That's not gonna catch a circuit problem. Your meter and your scanner will catch circuit problems. So this is why we're seeing when we have a light on, an emissions related P0443 light, and that's EVAP related, and EVAP is one of our non-continuous tests that we always find in mode six, why we're not seeing the reds, we're not seeing failed mids and tids because the test never ran that far. Once the computer woke up and says, whoa, we got a circuit problem, shorted or open on my EVAP solenoid. The computer says, why check for a plugged vent? Why check for a leaky hose? When I've got a bad solenoid circuit, solenoid itself's bad, the wiring's bad, the terminals are bad, we can fix that with a meter, like I said, and the, and the scan tool or a scope. You don't need to go further into mode six, and that is very much worth discussing today because sometimes we see things that look great and we just lose our confidence and say, well, man, that mode six didn't tell me anything. Yeah, it did. It's telling you that before the solenoid failed, we ran all those monitors and they were all good. A couple of them were close, but they were all good. So what do we do here? We would diagnose the circuit problem, the 443 electrical issue, not a leaky issue where we need a smoke machine, but the electrical issue, diagnose it, repair it, make notation of all this information in mode six that we see here, even especially the ones that were just barely passing, and then clear the codes, drive the vehicle, run those monitors again, and now see where everything lands.